Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how offensive guru and young prodigy Dez plays offense in Madden 23. Now, before I get into it, if you guys could do me the favor of liking the video, subscribing if you are new, commenting down below on anything you guys might be struggling with, or just comment FTA because it's for the algorithm. You guys already know the vibes, man. It helps push these videos out to more and more people. Now, let's get right into it because this might end up being a long video, uh, simply because we're gonna be going on. So. Okay, let me let me backtrack. So yesterday I posted a video on what the meta is currently in Madden 23 and how people are audibling to different formations. So in this video, we're simply gonna be going over how the current champion, that might change tonight, who knows, we don't know, but the current champion, Dez, the youngest champion ever, how he plays offense and the formations that he would audible into. And then if you guys want me to go over other people's offenses that they audible into, I'm not going over specific plays like, you know, like play, uh, you know, like like their hot routes and stuff like that. That's that's for their offenses. And obviously it goes it varies depending on the kind of defense you're playing but we are going to go over the audibles and stuff like that that you guys can go into if you guys want to be as high level as possible when it comes to playing madden so we're going to start off with the tight offset tight end so this is this is pretty much going to be one of the base plays that you guys can come out and we're going to be looking at three different formations and it's going to be tight offset tight end and then he'd audible into bunch and vice versa and then there was one formation that that didn't really get a lot of looks and that was the stack y flex we are currently in the saints playbook and that's the current playbook that he's running and i believe um, like one of the main plays that he kept running was uh hold on let me find it this fade out play this fade out play was getting separation like you wouldn't believe it was very very easy and it's something that you guys are going to want to add to your audibles just in case just in case you want to sit there and you know try to run something that's going to confuse your opponent as much as possible so again the the three main things that we're going to audible into from tight offset to gun bunch to stack y flex now one of the main reasons why people like to audible from tight offset tight end to bunch is you you get the running back on the opposite side so if i'm sitting there and you know what let me actually bring up my other controller so i can kind of showcase it to you guys so if i'm sitting there with a specific kind of setup right and you're you're, you're running defense on me right and i'm sitting there with with a specific kind of kind of setup and i come out in tight offset so my audibles for tight offset are saints in then i'm going to go oh one trap we got bench and then we got PA shot seams. These are my audibles for 0-1 trap. Now, one of the main plays that he was maining when running this was this Y curl. This Y curl play is amazing simply because of the alignment in which the the outside receiver actually runs out because he cuts in. It's like a it's like a slant and go route. Um, and you can kind of throw that in between the zones very, very easily, very, very quickly. So we're gonna have verticals y curl and then here dealer's choice you guys could simply just pick whatever another play that you guys might be comfortable running um a good play that i know he runs specifically is this trail play uh simply because of that 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 backside little post route that happens it's very very easy to run so that's so that's what we're gonna put we're gonna put y curl we're gonna keep the inside zone here we got verticals and then we got y trail i'm always gonna have some kind of running option in my offenses simply because i feel like it 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 keeps your opponent honest and make sure it makes it so that they are pretty much making sure that they they have to account for the run no matter what the situation is so those are going to be the audibles and if i'm sitting there and i come out and i'm coming out in pa shot seams so one of my favorite play setups when it comes to this pa shot seams is against zone coverage so that's exactly what i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going to show you guys this specific play and i believe i posted this already right so you're going to go on the wide side of the field here right you're going to have the running back on the short side and one of my favorite setups for this is to put the outside receiver or cd lamb on a corner route so we have a double corner route going situation here and what this does is it brings back the safeties that are on that on that left side um and it brings up any deep blue that's on that side as well leaving that square route almost wide open almost every single time so you wait for that guy to go and chase him and i'm just going to show the instant replay on this because i know for a fact that 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 it works this is like this is one of my bread and butter plays so 
we have a play simply like this that destroys zone coverage and sometimes it kind of kind of destroys man coverage as well so again i'm i'm getting sidetracked here but this is one of my favorite plays to run this is a meta play this is a, a play that a lot of people choose to run so if i'm if i'm doing that and i got the running back that's on the weak side here we're gonna go ahead and audible into into gun bunch right and we're gonna go into verticals and what's this gonna do now this is going to completely change the way that the defense is playing. So if I'm on defense and I'm calling whatever, you know, let's call cover two because you know how people like to run their, their DB fire and I'm setting up my defense and I'm setting it up like some pro players set it up. And you know what? Let me man him up on him instead. And I'm going to man him up on our on R1. And my job is to pretty much guard the, the, the tight end here, right? My job is to guard the tight end and hope, you know what, let's switch it here and blitz Cromartie. This is this is this is going to be considered good defense here. Why? Because my job is to guard the tight end and make sure that he doesn't get too far away, even if he's on a streak, even it doesn't matter what he's on. My job is the tight end. Right. So you do all this on defense and then your opponent does this. And completely flips the play on you. Now your your guy that's on this side is now manned up on the opposite side, and now you've got Atwater or your opposite side linebacker manned up on the opposite side running back, which means you have to sit there and completely f switch your play up and make sure that you switch your audibles. And by the time that you might be able to do that, you might you might already get quick height. And then once that happens, T. Y. Hilton beautiful touchdown and again these are just certain things that will frustrate your opponent from time to time and again with these audibles you will run a high powered offense if you guys want me to just drop like an ebook like an offensive ebook let me know down in the comment section because i can do that uh simply because it'll also help me get better at offense by finding certain things for, for you guys but this is the current offense that i'm running this and I also run the Patriots book. So if you guys want me to do that and showcase the audibles and the plays that I run in that, then let me know down in the comment section. But again, if you guys are rocking so something like this and say you, you come out with the running back on the wide side of the field, one of the main ways to run gun bunch is to sit there and run your bunch to the wide side of the field. So I'm sitting there. I run something like this. I put my tight end in a flat and a setup like this is going to sit there and get you a decent amount of yardage as well, especially if you're sitting there hitting your flats real quick, because we all know in, in, in bunch, those flats get open very, very easily. And it's very, very frustrating for your opponent. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper into it, the way I like to run it, and I know I'm, and I know I mentioned that this is how Des runs his, but Des comes out in gun bunch audibles around, but and one of his main plays is that Y curl play. So again, if you're trying to run it like Des, the champion, you're gonna audible into this Y curl play, and you're pretty much gonna sit there and have a lot of different options for your defense. Um, and he, they also run this with Hot Route Master. So every single pro player that you guys will watch is rocking some variation of Hot Route Master. And again, if that guy's open, oh, Atwater with a beautiful play there. I'm blind, so please don't, please don't take my word for actual reads and stuff like that. But that's just the way that they run their offenses. Is that Y curl play, and then they audible into other stuff, and that trail play, and then they just kind of mix, mix and match certain things depending on what they see from the defense. And again, the way you beat the way you run a high powered offense is you learn how to beat the meta defenses in Madden, and that's exactly what it is. You just sit there and try to confuse them as much as possible and frustrate them as much as possible. And they do, they they do they they do a perfect job at it because you know that's that's their job now is to sit there and kind of kind of break the game and run cheesy stuff while while manipulating your offense and quick hiking so that's one of the main things here as you can see wide open boom and that's the trail setup very easy to do very easy to go by but again you're just you're quick hiking you're essentially doing this and this is how i'm gonna end off the video so i'm coming out and tight tight offset right and then i'm gonna audible into bunch and what you want to do is mainly just one simple adjustment so right now i'm putting I'm putting T.Y. Hilton on a, on a on a streak here, moving up in the pocket. As you can see, up oh, that time it was it was a bad it was a bad bad pass lead. But again, you're just trying to quick hike your opponent as much as possible while forcing them to sit there and have to completely change up every single adjustment that they do. Because at the highest levels of Madden, you will see a lot of people 
sit there and man up a bunch of different people to different people and cross manning and stuff like that. And when they do that, this a simple flip of the play is going to completely it's going to completely change their entire their entire offense. It's going to completely change. And I don't know why T.Y. Hilton does that, but it's going to completely change their entire offense. And it's going to lead to stuff like this where people end up wide open and your offense is just going to be that much more explosive. My name is Funny Montana. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video, man. This, this was kind of like a mini ebook kind of situation. Um, again, we can go more in depth and more, uh, more, yeah, just in depth. Um, I only have a defensive ebook, and I know some people have been asking me about that, and that is for Twitch subs. Twitch subs pay four ninety nine to actually subscribe, so that's why they get that that benefit um, of running my defense. Like it's the exact defense that I'm running right now, and I believe I'm on like a twenty game win streak right now. So. If you guys want to test that out, man, I pretty much win a Super Bowl every single day. Check out the Twitch. Check out the Twitch. It'll be down in the description below. Um, I'm waiting till my actual computer setup comes uh, to start streaming again. But the ebook is live for anybody who is part of the sub Discord, and that is for Twitch subs. So hopefully, you guys appreciate this video, man. My name is Pony Montana. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.